Listen, we got a big <laughs> fight coming up this week. Tiafimo Lopez versus uh, Vasily Lomachenko this Saturday night. We caught up with my man Tiafimo before his fight. Check it out. All right, everybody. Let's welcome Tiafimo Lopez to the Portaway Podcast. What's up, champ? What's up, man? How you doing, champ? I'm doing great, man. How you feeling? Like a champ, man. Uh, <laughs> two weeks away. I'm excited. Not too far at all. Listen, I'm going to ask you this, and then I'm going to let my guys get in there and do what they do. But I got to know, uh, the last time we saw you was against Richard Cormier. Second yes. round second round TK, TKO, and you, you, you toss on the Joe Burrow jersey, Heisman Trophy winner, and you actually strike the pose. What I want to know is, are you keeping up with Joe Burrow? You've seen what he's doing so far right out there in, in Cincinnati. What are they now? Um, well, I know that he's doing his things. He's the doing first, his thing. uh, He's doing his thing, big yeah. things, especially yeah. uh, with the Bengals. So, I'm, uh, you know, congrats to him, man. And I think that uh, he's definitely a good uh, turnaround for the Bengals. Absolutely. For Cincinnati. Absolutely. And, uh, man, I, he has a bright future ahead of him for sure. Absolutely. I think he's putting it down on the football field a lot like you have in the ring. Transitioning right into that. So, I think, I think you're the future of the division. I don't think that's in question. As as the young guy, the young gun, what made you think? Okay, let me not. Don't let me call out somebody in the middle. Let me call out the guy, or the people who think is the guy at, at the division. Um, I think it's just that true champion mentality. You know, you want to just show the world and everything that you are the best, and that you that in order to do that, you have to, I guess, whoever they think is the best at that moment, you have to face. You know, and I think that's where it comes to my mentality is all about proving to not the world, but to myself that I am what I say I am. And that's the best fighter in this era, you know? And that's how I go to it, man. Um, I'm a fighter, man. I'm a, I'm a fight till, till I can't no more. You yeah. know, that's why, you know, doing the things that I do, facing Richard Come, who was a world champion and defending his title. And, um, you know, I was a challenger. And just like that, you know, um, working hard and just staying focused. And uh, I got to give you respect because 15 and 0, out, what, 15 and 0? Yeah. Uh, yeah I'm pretty sure when yeah. Sean was 15 though, He wasn't in a big world title fight like this <laughs> So I gotta give you uh, props Because this is a different generation You guys want it early You don't want to wait till you're 20 and 0 30 and 0 Like let's get it going I look at it like I, I, I guess we could say that You know I'm, I'm thankful though And I'm grateful that at 15 fights I was able to get the world title shot Yeah And um, having that opportunity Not a lot of people get to have that So for that I'm already blessed and thankful for it Absolutely You know and Absolutely. just to be able to 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 win that world title And my first world title at Madison Square Garden The Mecca of Boxing Yeah I mean um, <laughs> You know it was very beautiful yeah. man and, yeah. and I'm always going to be forever thankful for that Yeah and, just, just with all that right now, and then right now at 23 years young, um, you know, fighting for all the titles, uh, that's, mm. man, uh, mm. that's a lot to talk about right there. Mm. Yeah, and, and like I said, I think you're the future. I'll, be, I'll keep it a buck with you. I got Lomo in this fight, but how do you, going into specifically with him, he's such an interesting fighter where, you know, he has the pivots, he throws punches from different angles. How are you able to replicate that in training and sparring and, and kind of getting prepared for that well because you guys haven't seen everything yet you yeah. know i'm only able to give you what my 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 fight the fight i'm facing can give me you know at that particular moment mm -hmm. you know um you guys don't know that that i've been a natural boxer throughout my amateur career and everything the fact that i do have footwork and the fact that i know how to set up punches beta fighter in know how to fight on my back foot um and things like that my ring iq uh, it's just things like that that I love to, you know, I, being able to have those opportunities. And I learned that from sparring great champions like Sean Porter himself mm -hmm. and, and, and him giving me those pointers on what to do, you know, teaching me the game. And that was something that I definitely was able to take on pawn with me, you know, and, and that's where I'm at now. I'm still learning, you know, you learn something new every day. And, um, that's why I want to challenge myself. Um, and it's not, you know, um, it's not against the person that I'm facing. It's more about what else can I do to to not only shock the world, but yeah. what else can I do in this sport to yeah. to show that I am the best? Yeah. See, and and talking fighter to fighter, listening to you right now, I I, I understand exactly where you're coming from. It, it's it's fight specific. It's based on who you're in the ring with. Will depend on what you would do. I think for a long yes. time, people 
just thought that I was only a, a, a power puncher and I was only aggressive. And mm-hmm. if I wasn't all up on you, that there was no other way I could win. I think people are starting to see now that a lot like you, natural boxer, foot movement, more speed than, than people give you credit for or think you even have. Mm-hmm. And it's because you have it, you've only seen so much, you know? So for me, it's like, I look at this fight like it's 50 50. I'm telling you that when I heard this fight was announced, this was the fight for me. And then I heard that it was going away. I was like, no, don't do this to me. And and it's back. I can't yeah. wait. Upon saying that, I got to do a temperature check, baby. I know that it's been some things that's happened in the past with your dad approaching Lomachenko, letting him know like, hey, we here. All right. The Lopez's are here and don't run away from us when we when we say your name. I just want to do a temperature check right now based on everything that's going on in the past. How are y'all as a team feeling right now? How are you feeling right now? Just two weeks to go. Oh, man, I'm, I'm exhausted already. <laughs> uh, just with training camp, man. Just um, and that's how I got to feel, man. Yeah. Just got to feel like that. You know, that's how I know I'm already ready. And I'm at that point now where, um, you know, um, once I get that rest time, which is fight week, man. Oh, that, you know, we don't our game plan or everything. We don't throw punches or anything. You know, we let my everything rest. You know, this is my last week of camp. Week of the fight, I'm, right? I'm very, you know, I'm looking forward to it. You know, my weight is good. Um, weight's never been an issue though. You know what I mean? Right. And I, us as a team, man, it's only getting better and stronger. We're understanding and I'm maturing more, you mm-hmm. know, and as my father, uh, yeah, he's very outspoken. You know that. Yep. I mean, um, yep. Yep. as, as someone that is also trained by their father and everything, the same also class. Outspoken. <laughs> we come from the you same know? class. Yeah. yeah. We come from the same class. And I think, you know, sometimes people don't understand that, you know, they know what we need. They mm-hmm. know that we need that push sometimes. Mm-hmm. They they could see it. They could sense mm-hmm. it. And, you know, they, no one's going to know us better than them, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and that's why we, uh, we're we always with them, you know. And mm-hmm. I think that uh, the best thing that I have right there is him in my corner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, speaking of your dad, man, uh, you can't see me. I'm off mic. I'm about 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, <laughs> I ran into your dad in the store, man. And I noticed he had your hat on with your name on it. I asked him, I said, uh, I think this is probably like the end of last year, right after the fight. I kind of worded him like, uh, you guys kind of ready to go. I forgot exactly what I said, but I respect my elders just being from Louisiana. And I remember the energy came from him. I didn't want to say nothing else. He was just like, like we've been in the ring with Sean Porter because I'm like, I'm friends with Sean. I've been in the ring. He was letting me like his energy was ready to go. A year, that was nine months ago. <laughs> Is he always like that? Just intense. And I started, man. He's been like that since I I, I started boxing. Yeah, you know, and uh, he's that, he's never changed. That's why when people ask me if I feel pressure or anything, I'm like, nah. I'm, I was I think I was just raised with pressure my whole life. Yeah. Just the way he speaks and the way he's very outspoken about things. It's like, you know. He, you know, they put you in a situation. You're like, yeah, ah, yeah. I got to do it though. Yep, you know, yeah, um, yep. I'm not going to, I'm not going to fold. And that's just where I come to, you know, that mentality. I think that at, throughout the years though, boxing has, um, not only has it made me grown outside, mm-hmm. uh, outside as just a human being, but also as an athlete and understanding the game and, and taking all those, all those things that I need to mature myself to realize that, Hey, like this could happen if you don't do this right. And if you don't take care of your body, you know, you won't be able to do this and, and X, Y, and Z. So, you know, um, he's always been like that though. My father, man. Um, but he brings that energy, man. He brings the energy that I need and he brings the energy that the fight, fight fans need. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I don't even, I don't think I got gas. I think I just walked out the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're younger than all three of us, but you got kind of an old school vibe to your hard, hard working vibe. New York guy, yeah. top five New York rappers all time. Who you got? Nas. Um, of course, you got Tupac. You got Biggie. Um, Mob Deep. And who else I could say is uh, um, DMX, one of okay. my favorites. Okay. Nice. I respect the list. Shook ones. Is, that, is, is, is Loma, is he shook ones before this fight? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Yeah. He shook one, man. I love it. No such yeah. thing as halfway crooks. Listen, I'm not uh-huh. gonna I'm not gonna keep you all night, man. We appreciate your time 
It's good to well, just. Well, I got more time. What's I know, up? man. <laughs> you want to keep rocking? We can keep rocking, man. I know how yeah. you get down, man. You you will go to it to because I'm the same way, man. We like I said before, we come from the same class, and as a as a fighter, uh, as a, now an analyst of boxing, when I ana oh my god, when I analyze this fight, man, I love it. I'm telling you, this this is the fight of the year for me. And I have no doubt that y'all are both going to go in there and put it down the way the fans will want you to, the way your colleagues, the other fighters will want you to. And, uh, and I'm pulling for you. And I'm telling you that even though I feel that Lomachenko is is the... I have this fight. 45-55 Lomachenko. And even, and, 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 and even in saying that, and it ain't because I know you, it's because... I see it like this the underdog spirit. I see the I see the fight that you've been through in and out of the ring. I know where you come from without without standing next to you and walking with you all the every step of the way. You know what I mean? Because we come from the same class. So I admire you, man. I admire your work. I admire the fact that you enjoy it when you're in there doing it. Not too many guys can do that, man. This is a hard sport, and you know it. Not too many guys can get in there and have fun while they do it. I think that that's what makes you dangerous, and that's what I love about this fight. I think we got a young lion that is not going to accept no and is prepared, more prepared than yeah. a lot of people think. I think when you came on, you said, hey, man, I got some things in the, in the arsenal that don't nobody even know about. I believe it because I've been there. I've, I've seen it, and not only that, like when I again, when I watch you, I can see that there's there's a fire that's burning inside you, man. That that I love, man, and, and I'm and I actually I, I admire it, man. So we looking forward to it. I wanna, you know, though I wanna I wanna say something about yeah, go ahead. Uh, not to blow smoke up yeah, you know, anywhere up yeah. there, you know, just to let you know though, um, before I turned pro and I was I think I was still doing the Olympics and I, that's when I think you were preparing for the Keith Thurman fight oh and we were trying to thought. figure out when we spar it was Keith Thurman oh, yeah. huh? you touched him up too <laughs> oh yeah your, your yeah. dad let me know that in the gas station <laughs> <laughs> nah but uh you know it was you know it was great work first and foremost and, mm-hmm. but the thing that I noticed though around that time was even after the fight with you and Keith Thurman and you put, you guys put on a show. Yeah. Um, but like you always do. Mm-hmm. And, um, one thing that I love and I admire, and that's one thing that I took with me through, through this point in time. And I'm always going to is someone like yourself, that is a true champion, a world champion, a world-class act, but the way you carry yourself afterwards mm-hmm. against, uh, against anything and just being around people, the way you are, the way yeah. you carry as a humble person. Yes, I, um, I was like, man, he makes it big and he makes he makes good money. But the fact that he still holds himself that way, he yes, doesn't sir. let anything get up to his head. Yes, sir. I was like, I could do the same. Yes, sir. I and because that, of that, man. you know, I know I, I'm an asshole, whatever it is <laughs> in the when I do my sport. Yeah. But outside of it is a different yeah. thing. And, yeah. and and that comes all because of you. Well, you know, and I grab that. I appreciate I grab that, that a lot. I really do appreciate that. And that's why we named this podcast The Port Away. I think we want to bring something new and fresh and different to the viewers, to the listeners. And I think that who I am with everything that you've described, that that really is the portal way. And that's how we want things to be around here. Let me ask you that since since you're not going anywhere. I'm I'm keeping you for one more minute. Do you no, go think, ahead, whatever you want. Do you I, think that good. that the image that you have right now, the things that you are portraying in the ring and outside the ring, do you think you're showing everybody who you want them to remember you as? Um, yeah, you know, I think that we still have that progress. We still have so much more to show, you know, that's why I keep that hunger and that just to understand that, Hey, like, you know, I am a world champion today, Mm -hmm. you know, and, but I'm a world champion at life. Mm -hmm. And the fact that just to prevail through anything and just go through that adversity, uh, and, um, just to know that, you know, the thing that I want to do, um, one thing for sure, for certain, is that with success, I'm never going to be satisfied because mm-hmm. we're always going to want more. Mm-hmm. With success, we always want more. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. after this, I have all the belts. I want mm-hmm. more at 140, mm-hmm. you know, things like that. So mm-hmm. outside of that, though, I'll definitely I just want to show everybody. I'll be gone huh? when you get to 47. I'll be gone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, go ahead, man. What yeah. you want to? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. No, nah, but... um. Yeah, man. I, I said just you want to show everybody. It's more about you know you know what it is though. It's more about the fact that we can't take we can only do so much in the sport that we love. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Become 
uh, world champions and all those things and have all those accolades. But the thing is, is the fact that we have also a voice to help our communities out yeah. there. Yeah. You know, and that's the yeah. most important part, mm -hmm. you know, and I think that, you know, you don't need to take photos about it. Just do it. And don't, yep. you know, and in, in case somebody and if someone catches you doing it, then they caught you doing it. Mm -hmm. But as long as you're doing a good deed, mm -hmm. you know, and it's not for publicity or anything, it's mm -hmm. really just from coming from the heart. And that's my, my main goal is to do things like that. Me with someone that has asthma, you know, I'm definitely going to put um, donations and I'm definitely going to do all those things yep. for those that have asthma and let mm -hmm. them know that, hey, even though I'm a world champion, I have asthma and everything, Absolutely. Um, you know. Nothing. If I have asthma, it shouldn't stop you to keep doing what you're doing, Absolutely. you know, and whatever yeah. you're pursuing. And that's what it comes to, man. It's all about giving back. It ain't mm -hmm. really about taking everything. Mm -hmm. We can take all we can from mm -hmm. the sport. We can take those punches, everything. Yeah. It's going to stay with us. Yeah. But the fact is, what you what are you going to do afterwards? You know, what are you going to do to to be remembered as a people's champion? The thing I tell everybody that I come in contact with, I was like we all of us, we do more than just hit each other. We do more than just win belts. We do more than just mm -hmm. put money into a bank account. Yep. We've been through more. And you guys need to really understand that we have a story that can not only bring tears to your eyes, but it can affect other people in a very positive way. And that's exactly what you what you want to do, man. Hold on to that, man. Hold on to all of your aspiration, all of, all of your goals. I, I see that you have not lost anything that you have wanted and that you've been working for since I saw you way back when you were going for the Olympic Games. So I'm proud of you and I'm glad to see you at where, you, where you're at right now. And I promise you this will not be the last time you'll be on the, on the Port Away podcast. Nah, thank you for having me, man. God bless uh, you, man. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm out here, man. So appreciate it. Come see us when you're done with that uh, fight, man. Um, of course, man. I'm yeah, gonna yeah. be out there definitely. Uh, yep, yep, yep. But I'll be there next week, man. We get in there uh, October 10th. Okay. You know, we just start getting ready for everything. Okay. So you need anything, man? Let me know. Sure. I'm, I'm at your disposal. Of God bless yeah, you, man. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Take Thank care. you guys. Take care, man. Later. Yep. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy what you saw because I know you did. What you need to do now? Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like. Hit that notification button. Check us out every week, every Tuesday. Something new for you right here on the Port Away Podcast.